What's up, guys? We are back again with an absolutely insane Balloon Sparky Freeze deck to crush everyone on ladder. No one's going to know what this is. When you go for a Sparky in the back, they'll be like, oh, it's going to be a Goblin Giant or a Giant in front of it. And then you whip out a Balloon Lumberjack Freeze in the right-hand side, and you just snag a tower for free. If they go for a Zap to reset the Sparky, you can clutch up on defense with a Skeleton Army or Bats. And of course, Tesla and Freeze on defense is pretty much impenetrable. So let's go jump straight some games and make everyone rage just like our Lumberjack. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of the daily videos. And a huge thank you to everyone that's using code SIRTAG. All the money goes directly back into the channel, making the videos the best they can be. Jumping into this game, let's get a great one. Obviously, if he goes in for a miraculous bomber in the back, we know one of two things. It's going to be a skill drill, or it's probably going to be a golem deck. But after seeing the fast cycle with the fire spirit, we know it's going to be a skill drill deck. And I think skill drill isn't properly prepared for the off-meta tactics. It's so meta that this guy is like probably studying the game. He's like, oh, I know about the, all the Electro Giant decks. I know about all the Sparky decks that people could play. And then he just sees this and he's like, why is Jake so stupid? Why could anyone create this? And here we are living in 2021 where we are having an immense amount of fun with the Sparky Rage sauce. So he's got a Fire Spirit. I don't think the Sparky's able to break through. He hasn't seen Balloon yet, so maybe he just thinks it's a weird Sparky Freeze deck. And there's always that potential. Usually, if they don't have a Skeleton Army counter, you just go in for it right on top of the drill. Yeah, he's got arrows, so it's going to be harder. Sometimes they're going to have the Fire Spirit variation without any small spell, or they're going to end up having Log, which isn't really a reactive spell that you can just drop. But this guy, he can drop the arrows, and it'll immediately kill all the Skeletons on our side of the map. Usually Log, you have to make a prediction. So this one is going to be a harder skill drill matchup than most of the ones that you'll play against. All right, so... We could go for a balloon with the Sparky and then try to make some bamboozlement happen here. So I can definitely arrow on top of the bomber and maybe skeletons. I'm gonna arrow here. He actually missed. Oh my goodness! The balloon might get a hit! Yes, sir! Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Oh, wait, it looked like it wasn't gonna get a hit for a second. I was freaking out. I was like, wait. That's illegal. You're on the tower. You're supposed to do damage. I did not pay Elixir for nothing. I didn't get scammed out here by the balloon, fortunately. You know, what are we gonna do? Do we go for another skeleton army? Do we go bats? I think skeleton army is generally a pretty good play. Tesla also works just because if you Tesla here, it's pretty futile for our opponent to go in for a skill drill into you. It's just not as good as uh, he'd want it to be. I think he's gonna spam a skill drill into it anyway. Good stuff. He might try to arrow me. We'll see what happens afterward. We can go for a Lumberjack here. Lumberjack will probably just straight up die. But there's a chance that we get immense value in the other lane with Balloon Bats. And then also follow up with a Freeze. Because he doesn't have Skill Drill right now. He's actually going to arrow. I could arrow that, but I feel like it's a bad play. So I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to let the Balloon potentially get damage. Force out another Goblin Drill. So now he has no ability of going on offense. So this is our moment. This is our time. The Balloon also gets chip damage on the tower. No, somehow not. All right, Balloon, you scammed me there. You did scam me a little bit there, not gonna lie. We can Lumberjack. We can work with it. Are you just gonna try to keep pulling it with the double buildings? That's such an awkward placement of the Tesla. That doesn't pull. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm perpetually confused by that placement. But he's gonna have to Fireball here or go for a Tesla and a Fireball. Wait, we're gonna be able to break through. The balloon's gonna do him dirty. Let's go, beat the skill drill. He knocked it closer to the tower with the Fireball, but we didn't get the hit. What? How does that keep happening? That's so weird. That has happened like multiple times today with either the death bomb, but you know what? That's enough complaining. We're taking the tower, we're asserting the dominance, and we're stealing your trophies. It's only gonna be like 28, 29 trophies from that one. So you know what? Not 30, but we'll bounce on our next one and we will keep climbing up the ranks. And we're so close to 7,000 trophies with this complete meme machine. Getting into this game, unfortunately, this man's not cycling stuff into my Sparky. What are you gonna do, man? What's up with that? Are you just gonna chill, wait, and relax, and let me get to double? No, you're gonna go for bats. If I only had Lumberjack Balloon Freeze in my starting hand, and his bats are out of cycle, his best answer, presumably, right? This could be phenomenal. I'm gonna sacrifice my Lumberjack. I'll Sparky here. The good thing about the deck is if your opponent's got Zap, they Zap on the Sparky, then they have nothing for the Skeleton Army. So you've got bats, you've got Sparky, you've got Skeleton Army. You have so many different cards in this deck that are pretty good together. Okay, so bats are out of cycle. Maybe he has the clone with Zappy's variation. The Zappies aren't going to be able to reset my Sparky, so I'm going to go in for a balloon right now. Yes, let's go! I could arrows. I wonder if that's the right play or not. Probably was. Let's go to Tesla instead. 
and we'll wait and see what else he wants to do. So now we can arrow on the Zappies, and we can arrow on the Bomber, and what else he drops. And then we Skeleton Army here, and we shut it all down. He might clone with literally just a Night Witch on the board, and that might be scary, but he doesn't. So it's good. Let's go, baby. The kick is good. We kick that Golem into the Abyss right in that Spartan scene. We hit him in the hole, and he's never going to be seen again. Oh, okay. This is actually a little bit concerning. I'm going to freeze. I'm going to Bats. So the reason why I'm dropping Bats instead of Lumberjack is because, yeah, I was hoping he would arrow. If he drops an Arrows, and now he has no Bats... Now his only other counter is going to be Zappies. I've played against this deck a lot. It's actually the best Golem clone deck in the game right now. I've even made a video on it. So if you guys want to check it out, feel free to. But at the same time, you got to understand what cards he could have at his, his disposal. And if he does not have bats, then I can presumably just go for Sparky Balloon and get massive positive elixir trades. So that's what we're going to walk away with right now. I think we even go same lane. Very rarely do I do this. But I'm going to catapult a Balloon Lumberjack in the same lane because it's so difficult for this man to defend it. We're able to keep the Sparky alive a lot longer. We're able to get more value. I can go for arrows here and then I can freeze. And this freeze is about to give me like two hits on the tower at least. Wow, he's expected to spam stuff right into the Sparky. Let's go, baby! <laughs> Don't you love how dumb this deck is? Sparky plus Tesla is the counter to Golem Clone. If you guys are sick and tired of losing to Golem Clone, I am too. But I think we found an answer. I think we actually understand how to win this matchup, which I have never had a good matchup against this thing. It seems like I always lose, no matter what happens. So we're just gonna freeze, we're gonna have it raged up, and that will definitely snag the tower because he doesn't have any way of pulling that back. So we're gonna go for double buildings. The building a wall of Tesla, he <laughs> can't break through. This is my favorite deck in the game, guys. I gotta say, if we can beat Golem Clone and just do it very handily without any issues, why would you run anything else? Are the new meta. I created it. Balloon, Sparky, Lumberjack, Freeze. Every pro player is complaining about Golem Clone. I guess they just need to run this. Jumping into this one against KCAT. What's going on, dude? Hey, he's giving me a good luck. You probably don't want to give a Sparky Balloon Freeze luck because then I get that balloon raged up on your tower and there's no stopping it. So all I need is a little bit of luck. You dropping something in the back into a Sparky is what I'm waiting for. Holy crap. What are you doing, dude? Can you calm down for a second? Can you not spam every single one of your cards at the river? That is disrespectful on so many levels. But the good thing is, Skeleton Army is saving our butt and the dude doesn't have zaps. So, I guess if he had zapped on top of the Skeleton Army, he would have felt real bad because then he would have not been able to zap on top of the Sparky. Ooh, maybe we can Lumberjack here and then Bats to finish this off. He's raging up his tower on defense. He is freaking out. And I love this. Look at how good that Lumberjack has been for me. Let's go. All right, so we just need a Tesla on top of the Dark Prince. The Dark Prince was looking like he was going to go straight towards my tower for a second. I was like, uh. uh. <laughs> Sir, that is uncalled for on so many levels. Stop it. That is rude. But the good thing is, I think it's going to be a Sparky Rage deck. That's from the looks of things, right? Like we see Dark Prince, we see Mega Minion, we see Mini Pack. It all points in the direction of someone running Sparky. And there it is. Let's go, my brother from another mother. So the good thing is, I just freeze and I laugh at him. And as long as I don't miss my freeze or my small spells, I think we are completely in a good spot. We could also do one of these where we skeleton army first and it just does not hit the Sparky and then the skeleton's tank and it's better than freezing. I think that's a lot better than freezing, actually. Like, no cap. So please just don't Electro Wizard. <gasps> Holy crap! Wait, that, that is not going to do so well. It's just going to hit a mini pack instead of anything else. <laughs> that could have been so much better. <laughs> Alright, so Dark Prince is not going to be able to finish this off. That's good. I think we go in for a Skeleton Army here. We kill the Wizard. And Lumberjack Balloon in the other lane. Because this Mega Minion should be out of cycle. Oh no, it's back in cycle! Get out of here. Miss me with that, man. Miss me with that. How many hits do I get with the Balloon? I need like three. I need literally three. I don't think I can get three. I think I only get two. This is so scary, man. I'm gonna go for Tesla. I think that the Tesla might be able to shut it down. I can eat the entire wizard. I need a skeleton army here. Oh, is the skeleton? No, no, no. I have a family. Oh, brutal, man. Well, you can't win every single game. If only I dropped the Lumberjack preemptively predicting the zap, I think we could have eaten the entire wizard on the right-hand side and won the game. You can't win them all. We'll bounce on the next one, and hopefully we can assert dominance there. You know what? At least we lost to a fellow Sparky player. Jumping into this one, this guy is a really good player. 
I've played against him before, and he's actually a Sparky and Three Musketeer Master. So, you know what? We're going to say good luck, and we're going to give him some kisses, because I need some luck. Probably don't want to give a Sparky Balloon Freeze luck. So I want the luck to go full circle here. Oh, he's actually going to go for a skill drill first play. That's really interesting. Usually this guy's running Sparky, so I was really surprised to see that. But I can balloon. Maybe even go for bats and a freeze here, depending on what goes down. I really want to freeze. I really, really want to freeze. Hey, bro, watch your jet. Watch your jet, bro. Watch your jet! One. Oh. Hey, yo, the pizza here. He's probably not ready for this. He thinks it's dumb. And honestly, <laughs> balloon freeze right out of the gate when you get an elixir advantage. It feels phenomenal. So I'm at Tesla here. We should be able to shut this down with bats. I presume this is a really good situation for me, right? Which is bats on top. I didn't know if he's gonna electric spirit, so I want to wait a little bit. And now we can skeleton army. We can shut most of that down. If I bats earlier, I could have just lost the game if he electric spirited or snowballed. I kind of just didn't want to mess around with that flying machine. Sometimes people protect that with their life. So when we're playing against a really good player, I'm a bit scared because most people at 7,000 trophies, I don't know who they are. So it doesn't really matter to me when we're memeing around. But this guy, he's, he's making me focus up a little bit. So I'm gonna spark you in the back. And I could maybe go in for like a Lumberjack, depending on what goes down. Like, I expect him to go in for a skill drill soon. The bad thing is, <laughs> the Sparky doesn't do so well into Furnace. It just gets hit by the Fire Spirits initially, and then it takes a long time. But maybe there's a way, maybe there's a play, maybe there's a strategy to be made. If we go for a Tesla, we should be able to kill the Fly Machine. Oh, Sparky, you almost stayed alive. Okay, so he's gonna recruit in the back. He's gonna recruit in the back any second right now, no? Not really. What if we lumberjack on this? Dismal, crazy, apocalyptic, savage. Can lumberjack live large and destroy every single one of the goblins? The attack speed of Paul Bunyan is ridiculous. This man chopping down the trees like crazy. Okay, so as I said, Three Musketeer Savant. This guy generally runs crazy decks. I'm used to him playing like Sparky Three Musketeers or Giant Three Musketeers. Oh, it's kind of cool to see him say uh, play this. I guess we can go in for a Sparky. Maybe even, yeah, no, the Sparky should do work. Maybe go for Scarlet Lantern Army afterwards. And then potentially arrows here. So then we finish off the Musketeer and not have to worry about too much damage, only one hit. Oh, I'm gonna Tesla here because it's gonna be able to kill the Fly Machine, I think. I believe that the Fly Machine will eventually lock into it. We can Lumberjack here, Bats here. He's gonna try to pull it back. But look at that, the Skeleton Army afterward completely shuts down the entire drill. So because the Lumberjack whiffed, that was actually better for me. <laughs> if he pulled it back, that would have been so bad. So we're just gonna Sparky with 18 seconds remaining. Do we hold the door? We've got Freeze, we've got Tesla. I think we got it. He gave up. Let's go, baby. Playing against a really good player. Running the crazy deck as well. You know what? TG and well played. I love playing against uh, people that I know. And uh, he's a really nice person. So you know what? TG, well played. He wasn't even salty playing against Balloon Freeze. And that's what we like to see. We don't actually want to ruin people's day when we're running a crazy meme deck like this. So jumping into the game today, let's see what's going on. Obviously, if we've got Sparky in our starting hand, we want him to catapult the elixir at us and feed us more, but unfortunately, no such luck. Wait, there's a lot of luck there. He just dropped a log. We could go for like an offensive skeleton army here. This is really dumb, but maybe it works. No log in cycle, no electric spear in cycle. Free real estate, baby! Wait, oh, he's gonna Valkyrie it. I was like, so optimistic for a second. I thought for sure we had it. I thought we were gonna slap him silly. So yeah, he's gonna Hog Rider. We can just pull that directly and then go for bats. I don't know if those bats are amazing because, ah, uh, no, 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 we did need them. We did need them. Hmm. If I balloon, it's gonna go right into a Tesla. We don't want him to know that we've got Tesla Sparky yet. So the strategy has not unfolded for us yet. We need to make sure that we go in for a Sparky in the back, build up a massive push, and then arrow on top of the Firecracker. We actually have arrows in this deck because I've lost a lot against Minion Horde, and I've lost a lot against Firecracker when I don't have that. So I realized, okay, if I put Zap, it's just not going to work the same, even though I want to Zap away Bats for a juicier Elixir trade. It just never works out the way I want it to. All right, we're able to arrow here. Definitely going to be able to hit the Firecracker again. He's going to Skeletons. I don't really care too much. I know the Sparky's gonna die, but wait, is the Sparky gonna kill the Hog Rider? What? No way. <laughs> the Hog Rider trying to pass, and then the Sparky's like, I'm too thick for that, sir. Damn boy. Damn boy, he's thick. Wait, he's not ready, because he just dropped his Tesla. How's he supposed to defend this? Okay. If we just freeze the Tesla, it kills, and then. 
We going for the balloon for rage, please? Give me a hit. Oh, I feel like I was robbed there. Not gonna lie, I feel like I was robbed. That is ridiculous that we did not break through. I want a refund, I want a recount. I, I deserve that damage, okay? All right, we're gonna arrow here. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just stopped bats because, well, first off, it's less elixir. Second off, I kind of need the arrows for the firecracker. So what am I thinking, guys? Do I, do I want to lose this game? Maybe. That is the answer to the question. So if we Sparky, we hit the Electro Spirit, and the Hog Rider that's inevitably going to come down in that lane, I think we might be vibing. There's a chance that he goes in for a Hog Rider and a Log here, but I don't know. Is that Skeleton going to tank? Yeah, it is. It's okay. It's still a vibe. It's still a strategy. Yo, what is up with that Hog Rider? It's always dying every single time right now. This is ridiculous. I was leaking so much elixir because I didn't even know what was going on. If we're able to rage this up and then go in for arrows on top of the firecracker, I think that we're able to get the balloon to connect. Holy crap, let's go, baby! All right, we need to go for a high Tesla so he's not able to earthquake it, and we will win the game. That's what's up! Also, if you guys have to be a perfectionist and point this out, if you drop your Tesla one tile lower, so like just at the edge of the river, you're going to be able to also make sure that they can't earthquake it. So that is the effective and best placement, but it doesn't matter. We just evaded everything that he threw at me, and he is probably throwing up his hands and his phone, throwing in the trash can because he doesn't want to play this game anymore. He just lost to Sparky Balloon Rage Freeze. One of the craziest things I've ever made. Plus 31 trophies, we are now 4,000 in the world, baby. Let's get it. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and have an awesome rest of your day.